All right, today we're going to be going through an encryption decryption program called the root 13 cipher. And what this program does is I'm going to show you right here. Say you would give in a letter A, it will count 13 letters frontwards till it reaches the letter N. And it would return N. If you give in a letter X where it cannot count 13 letters frontwards, it should return K. Likewise, if you give it N, there is only 12 letters after N till it reaches Z. So it will count backwards and return A. And K, it cannot count backwards because there is not enough letters, so it's going to count frontwards and return X. So there's always one way of counting because the alphabet has 26 letters. And the, the one way that works is the letter that it's going to return on the opposite position. Back to the program. Uh, we're going to have a root 13 function which is going to hold an integer c and the function itself is also going to be an integer we're also going to have a function called root 13 helper which is going to hold two integers one is going to be c and the other one is going to be let's just call it y for now uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to declare a variable an integer variable c but we're going to scan this variable as a character which you will see why in a moment Oops, I messed up my scanf. There we go. C is gonna be, or, or to C, the root 13 is gonna be applied to the variable C. And we're gonna print out the variable C after that is done. Now, this is only the int main, this is our like first step. We declare a variable c, an integer, but we scan it as a character. This is so it holds the values in the ACI table, which you will see later. c is going to be applied to the function, or the function root 13 is going to be applied to the variable c, and then c is going to be printed out. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to define what root 13 does. And to do that, we have to call it again. And we're going to say that if the, now let's start with the small because we have to, we're gonna have to do different if statements or expressions for the smaller letters and for the caps letters so let's start with the smaller ones so if a is less than or equals to um, the letter c and c is less than or equals to the letter z then we want to return root 13 helper, which is the helper function where we're going to be defining at the bottom later. And there we're going to return the variable C and the letter A. Now, let's say we want to have um, for the caps letters, and this is if that we have uh, if, again if we have a is less than or equals to c and c wait did i miss the thing oh yeah i did oh sorry my bad i forgot a c here i said it i think but i forgot to type it down so if a is less than or equals to c and c is less than or equals to z same here or c is less than or equals to z you want to return root 13 helper C, but now along with a uh, capital A. And you will also see why I'm doing this once we get to the root 13 helper function. Else, we're just going to return C. Okay, now the big part. Int root 13 helper consists of int C, let's call it again, int Y. Okay. Now, this function is going to do a really small step, but a big one. It's going to have c equals to c minus y plus 13 modded by 20. I'll show you why I'm doing this in a second. Plus y. And it's going to return c. Okay. So, c is the variable we have itself. And... 
C is the same as typing in, let me just do this and this. Okay, so say we would give in a small letter B. B holds the value of 98. It would be 98 minus Y. Y, if it's smaller letters, Y is always going to hold the standard value of the smaller letter A, so 97. So 98 minus 97 plus 13 modded by 26 plus 97 again is going to return the alphabet shifted frontwards. 13, 13 uh, letters frontwards. And if we would give it caps letters, say we would give it the letter, uh, the capital A, or no, the capital B, then C is going to hold the number 66, while Y is always going to hold the standard value for the capital alphabet, which is, and it's going to hold the value of A, so 65. So Y can either hold, which is what we define here, Y can either hold 65 or 97. And all, and this parentheses, modded by 26 plus Y, always returns the alphabet, either shifted frontwards or backwards, 13 letters. And that's why we return C over here. And I've actually written a little program. I'm going to go through this one more time. To do this, we declare the function root 13. We also declare the root helper function. Uh, the first thing we do is we declare the variable C as a character. Then we scan C. We apply the root 13 function to the character C, and then we print out C. Then we define the root 13. Uh, function itself which says that if C is greater than or equals to a the, ca the smaller a or less than or equals to smaller Z this is like the input if, if it's something it's something is between this then return root 13 C which is the variable itself we're, we're gonna have here and smaller a which is the value that Y is gonna hold and the same is going to be going over here. If the character we input in between th is between the interval, sorry for my spelling mistakes here, is between the interval of the large letters A to Z, then we're going to return root 13 helper with the variable C, and where Y is going to hold the same value on the ACI table as the capital A. Otherwise, just return C. Say none of these will meet, and we will have symbols. Uh, just any percent or the and symbol or a slash all these doesn't meet in these intervals so it's always going to return the symbols back again the int root 13 helper consists of two integers c and y this is where y represents the value of 97 if the small let if it's small letters and 103 if it's caps did i just type it wrong here i did my bad. It's 97 if it's small letters and 101 if it's caps. And then C holds the character, so it's the ACI value, and everything is modded by 20, uh, 26. And then always we always return the value C because this is where everything is stored in. And let's try this function or program. And if we type in hello, it returns just U R Y Y B, and you can try this yourself. This is shifted backwards, so all these letters will be shifted either frontwards or backwards, and you can look that up yourself. All right, all right. I realized I messed up a little bit when I said that uh, the value of the capital A holds the value of 101. I was looking at the octal uh, by mistake, so. Here you want to look at the decimal number system, not the hexadecimal or the octal. Just look at the decimal one. And in the decimal one, the smaller a holds the value of 97, where the capital A holds the value of 65. Uh, my bad for that. I said a little bit of a mistake in the, in the video.